is going on everybody i'm back again with another video and like i say i'm not really a big fan of malls but this mall i think is totally worth it to explore here in manila and the philippines it's a mall that resembles italy like venice so this one's called venice grand canal i've been here before years ago but i heard it kept developing a little bit more so i came back to see what's going on there's a lot happening over here there's even like a market over here in the street probably selling products and then the main entrance is over that way so they got like a overpasses but i'm gonna walk around the mall and see what's happening and take you guys with me so join me then this is kind of part of the bgc area of bonifacio global city which i made a video there like last week in the night time they extended this area over here with a lot of apartment complexes some of them they have like names resembling italy like tuscany so i guess they're trying to recreate this area like a little bit of a modern version of italy and it resembles a little bit of the venice area and in, in the vegas strip Pretty much similar on the inside, but once you go inside the mall, there's a canal that's really beautiful. And a lot of people, they be taking pictures over there. So I'm going to be walking inside to see what can I find. And this is the outside of the area. And they developed this high-rise condo. So it must be nice to live here. You will get a view of Manila. Then they got like an indoor mall and an outdoor mall. And a lot of people, they come here to take pictures. So it's a pretty lovely area. So just to give you an outlook, this is part of the inside of the mall. Pretty beautiful, it kind of looks like a resort or like a hotel. But there's like tons of restaurants over here. A lot of people today, because today is uh, Sunday. Today is Sunday, the main attraction is to my right hand. We got a beautiful mural of Venice, the real one in Italy, which is what this mall recreates, you know, with the canal, the plaza. Pretty beautiful, and then I was walking over that way, you know, it's a big mall. Just to give you an insight what I'm gonna explore later. It's a plaza, and you can see there's even a guy in a boat guiding the people around. We'll save it for later, you know. I know it's gonna be pretty lit, so we're gonna save the best for last. Like more of the mall. And there's more in the front too that we can explore. So I'm gonna try to see every angle of the mall. See what's going on. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Nothing crazy, but it's still pretty nice. When I came here, I even forgot. I think it was over six years ago. The mall was like open, but a lot of stores were empty. They were not developed like they were now, but now everything looks like it's back in place. Full and there's people walking around, so it's pretty good to see it. And I think in the nighttime, it gets even nicer with the lights. So here's one of the balconies. I think it's where the fountain is, let me see. Actually, no, I don't remember seeing this, but yeah, it's still pretty nice to look at. And it got like that tower that resembles Venice. So it's mostly like a food court, I guess it's like a food court. And people grabbing their bite out there, so pretty interesting to look. Thing, I like the ceiling over here, pretty nice. Fancy, you know, it's nice. So they got like a tiny market here. One thing about the Philippines is that they love their chicken, so everywhere I go, it smells like fried chicken, so. Got the market over here. Drinks. A little bit of everything, I guess, like sausages. And you know I'm a fan of markets, like I always saw it in New York, and then this is one here in the Philippines. We even got seafood, but I can't eat that, I'm allergic. And now I'm heading to the main attraction of this mall, where everybody gathers a crowd. And you're gonna see a bustling over here. It's pretty beautiful. And I know in Qatar they got a place like this, and then Beggars is pretty similar. But wow, today is popping. There's like a market out there. The first time I came, it was not really much of a crowd, but this time it's gonna be amazing. I guess the point of it is you go around and you try to get the best view. But the best view is gonna be around the bridge for sure. I think when you get in the bridge, that's where you get the best shot. But let me show you what's going on over here. We got the condos that they sell here by the water. There was a guy in a boat. Actually, he's coming towards this way. There's another boat over there, so I'll get a close-up look of it. So here you can take a boat if you want. I love how crystal clear blue the water is. I assume they're gonna open a new Asian restaurant. They're gonna open a new restaurant over here. But yeah, pretty beautiful. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of malls, but the malls in the Philippines, I think they're totally worth going. I could explore every type of mall and I just, 
it just never surprised me to see what can I find. So now I'm gonna try to make it to the other side to see what's happening. I think the other side is gonna be more packed and more interesting because they still have like the decorations of the Chinese New Year, so it's gonna be pretty interesting. This is the area where the main attraction is where all the people are hanging out, but I gotta be careful because a lot of people are taking pictures, so I don't wanna like video bomb or anything. So here's the main area, they got all the decorations of the Chinese New Year. Then they got this over here. A lot happening. I think it's also like an Instagram haven. Many, many people here are taking pictures. So, And just like Times Square, this is kind of like a selfie haven over here. A lot of people come with their family and they take pictures. And one thing about the Filipino culture is that they do love their pictures and their selfies. So something pretty nice, you know, and something that makes me love this country too. Like the hospitality, you can't beat it with other countries. The restaurants here, you could dine in with the view of Venice. Not the real one, but you know. <laughs> Resembles a little bit. The restaurants over here, then you can sit here, have your drink, your dinner. If you're on a date, you can bring your date here and have a romantic dinner. So that is something uh, pretty interesting. Then they got people here at Sebastian's for a little donation. You can take pictures with them. The main attraction is over here. Everybody taking a lot of selfies, but I'm gonna walk to the end. Probably the main attraction here. Look at everybody pile up to get a selfie with this over here sneak a selfie of thumbnail but it's a little bit impossible with all the crowd behind me but I guess patiently I guess you just gotta take turns and see if I can get the best shot I'm not sure how good of a shot this is gonna be but hey trying to do my best thumbnail that's a mall right there hey I went to Italy I got a picture with Italy <laughs> but pretty cool The mall keeps going around, but it's mostly like restaurants. Yeah. In this area over here by the canal, it's designated for restaurants. Mostly Italians, but it also got like fast food joints, the Filipino fast food chains of your choice, Japanese joint, and what they offer here. So you choose your preference, and then the famous bridge there that everybody takes pictures. So at least I managed to get a selfie. Over there, over here they got the lights. So there's a lot to do here and then the bridge over there. And then the swimming pool, looks like a swimming pool, literally. And here's the other side and it doesn't really ask that much crowd. A couple of people in the middle, but I guess we can get this over here, this view, which is pretty nice. Then I'm back inside the mall. I'm not sure if I walk this area, but it still is pretty nice. The floor, you know, shiny. Then they got like regular stores. That was the end of my videos exploring Venice Grand Canal here in Metro Manila in the Philippines. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace.